Hi everybody, this is Leah from The Trillium Creative, um, coming to you with another video. It's been a little bit since I've uh, posted a video, but then also a little bit since I've been crafting steadily. So, you know, other things come up in life and you get busy with, with other things, but Today I wanted to, um, I have this journal that I've been working on. Um, you may have seen it uh, a couple times in other videos. Um, but I have been slowly working on adding things and kind of finishing it up. Um, I've done some stamping, added some more pockets and things. Um, so I'm kind of at the stage now where I want to add things like journal cards um, and just kind of fill it um, as a final step. Well, almost final. The last step will be to put on the cover. Um, I had a cover picked out or some pieces to make up a cover. And now I'm thinking about doing something different. So that will probably be um, another video uh, kind of figuring out what we're going to do with the cover here. But for right now, we have all the signatures in place. I've done quite a bit of, of decorating and things. And now we just want to kind of stuff it. So I already had some journal cards that I had started um, made out of master boards. So they were collaged and then they have on the back some papers that you can easily write on. Um, oops. And then I've added things like um, little grommets or eyelets, whatever you want to call them, and then added ribbon. This is just um, sorry silk ribbon. And then on some of them I added some baker's twine um, and I was playing around with some ideas of you know kind of doing them off to the side um, of course I did some like on the top like normal traditional way and I've done some towards the corner so just kind of playing around with different styles um, but now I want to kind of figure out where in the journal they're gonna go and then maybe add some focal points or additional decorating on the front um, depending on where in the journal they're going to go. I also have some tea dyed or coffee dyed. Uh, sorry. I usually use coffee because I like the darker color that it gives. Um, but these are guest checks. I got a pack of them at the thrift store. Found them really cheap at the thrift store. So I picked them up and then just went through and coffee dyed a bunch of them. Um, and then also I have some postcards, which these are not vintage. They just look vintage. Um, I bought them on Amazon, I think, or I may have got them as a gift actually. So anyway, so there's some cool designs in here that I thought would work well with this journal. So, um, I might use some of those as well. So really I want to start with the journal cards or tags that I made and kind of sprinkle them throughout the journal and then we can kind of then I will kind of decide if I want to add additional decor. Um, so this journal has three signatures so I think I'm going to start at the back because I tend to start at the front with things and then the front um, the first signature gets a little more um, than the others so I try to switch back and forth um, and not way down one signature over the other. So let's see, we've, we've also got these pockets or tucks um, on the inside of the cover on the back and the front. So we could put stuff in there. I've got these pockets where I've, you know, kind of wrap around pockets that have a pocket on one side and then more of like a tuck on the other side. And then I've got these flip out pockets. So this is a little on the smaller side for a tag. So maybe that would work better in this one. Oh yeah, that's like a perfect fit. So we'll go with that. And I'm not necessarily gonna fill up all the pockets, um, but I wanna add some things here and there. So this is a larger, I think maybe that would be better for like a postcard or something. Um, and then I have some like tucks 
here and there, which I think would be good for like extra writing paper. So I might do that off, off camera. Um, here's one with some double pockets. Maybe we'll do one with the sari silk. Like that. And then we might add just some regular paper on the top one there. Unless we want the ribbon sticking out the top, that'd be kind of fun. That's not as deep of a pocket. So I think I'll stick with that for now. Now this one's a tall skinny, which I may have to make a custom tag for this one. Cause I don't think any of these are skinny enough. Yeah, I don't think I'll have to make a custom one for that. And then we also have a pocket here, which could be good for some additional writing paper. This would be kind of fun. So this is still the first signature. Okay. Yeah, I like that there. Okay, and then this is a tuck as well. I have a smaller tag left. I do, but I think that's kind of competing too much. So we might do something different for that. Okay, let's go into the second signature. Also I have some of these pockets. None of these are, oh wait, maybe this one. That one's a little snug, so I might have to do something else for that, those pockets. Here's another small pocket. Yeah, I like that there. Okay. Here's a larger pocket. This might be better for something like a guest check or a um, postcard. So we'll do that. We'll come back to that one. Here's a tuck. Okay, that's cute. I like that. Okay, we have three tags left. That one's a little, does this one work? Oh, that's better. Okay, we'll do that. And then let's do the last two in the first signature. on the smaller side. We have a belly band here that will need something as well. Mm. Seems like a big yeah, that doesn't seem quite right. Maybe this, it'll go in here. It's kind of cute. I mean, it's hidden that way, but that works. Okay, so that is the tags that I've made. Now, Let's go back through and find those spots that I said were probably better for postcards. This is a good, well, maybe. 
I might do a guess check there. Um, okay. Here's something that we could put. Postcard, although you can't really see it. There's a tuck here as well. I don't love the green there. This is, it's cute. Okay, there's that. Let's go to signature two. There's a envelope. We could tuck something else in there with it, but let's see what else we have here. That's cute. Let's see if there's another. better. Okay, so let's go to signature three. Oh, and then this is a pocket as well. It's cute. gonna pull out some of the ones that I think might work well in this so I think the butterflies will work well like the mushroom there maybe that one A lot of these could work with this theme. I really like this postcard set. Hopefully I can <laughs> remember where it came from so I can get some more. Um, okay, so we've got that one in there. Let's put a couple more in each signature. So... I know there were a couple it's kind of cute just have the lace part sticking out the contrast with the dark envelope um, this one's almost gonna need a custom tag like a large tag Well, I have to think about that. Um, okay, I'm gonna put one in here. The butterfly. I love that how that's kind of transparent. Okay, and then this that's, that's a little too narrow for a po uh, postcard. This could work. Although now I've got, let's see. I mean, I don't want to think about it too hard, but I've got one, two, and then three in this signature. So let's move to back to the second signature. In a pocket that's too small of a pocket. It's too small. Maybe, oh, maybe something here. I like that coloring with that. I mean, the 
And then when you take it out, the pocket's still pretty behind it too. So that works. Okay, so then that's two in this signature. Let's see what else we have here. Maybe another one in here. Oh, we can tuck that back there too. Do I want to do that? I hope, yeah, I kind of like that. Let's see. Is that the one we want to use? Or this one? I like that one a little bit better. Okay, so then we got a postcard in there. Tuck right there. Okay, or do we want a mushroom? Yeah, and then I've got a tag there. Oh, I'm just knocking things over. I've got one more. I've got that one there. And do a guess check in that one. Let's do this. Okay. So we're already like the cover is already kind of expanding on its own. If you can see that. <laughs> So when I go to make the cover on this, I'll probably end up having a, um, I've already thought about having a sari silk out of the same brown sari silk that I had on some of these tags, like this. I'll probably use it to make a tie and glue it behind whatever the cover piece is. Um, okay, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and throw throw um, place some of these guest checks in here and then I can go back and decorate them as as I have time so we may we're probably not going to get to all of these decorating all of these today but I wanted to at least find places for them um, signature this is one place that we could put it it seems too busy to me I'm not sure I love the placement of that tag either but we'll we'll come back to that um okay we still need to make a tag for that probably do that later maybe does this work here if i can get it open there we go all right it's as tall as the pocket that could work Let's see if there's any other Oh, you know what else could work? Something like that. Okay, that's one one idea. And we could also place one here. Okay, I'm gonna just go with that for now. And then we can go through and decorate as we want. So, let's 
do the tags first. Do we want to decorate this one? Maybe just like a little butterfly or something. So I have some butterflies here that I actually got and I wanted to mention this. So a lot of people purchase fussy cut kits from Etsy, from different creators, um, on on there that you know you can buy the digital files and then print them yourself at home um which is great and i i do love that there are creators out there that are willing to to make you know either originals or also kind of curate images that they found online um images they found from different books um that are you know hopefully copyright free um and public domain um, so that they are, you know, legally allowed to do that. But what a lot of people I feel like don't know is that, and, and this only really works for people who are um, willing or able to kind of manipulate image files themselves on their computer. And when I say manipulate, I just mean like um, resizing and, you know, fitting them on a page and things like that. Um, not actually necessarily changing the image itself, but, um, most, well, pretty much not pretty much everything in this box I got off of biodiversity heritage, um, their Flickr website or Flickr site. So there's a group and my, my understanding is that it's, um, I think the New York library hosts it and basically somebody has gone through or <laughs> multiple somebodies have gone through and scanned in a bunch of different older books. Um, and those books that have images in them, the images are on their flick on the biodiversity heritage Flickr site and they're free for anybody to access free for you to download and they're just, in my opinion, really cool um, images from actual naturalist um, books and also magazines um, and journals. Um, and so you can kind of, I mean, it is a little overwhelming. I will admit that there are so many um, albums out there and then there's a bunch of different images within each album um, so you kind of have to sort through all of it yourself which that's a big deal that takes a lot of time but if you're really like interested in that kind of thing like I am um, I found more images in that on that site than that I loved than I have found on other people's Etsy sites as far as digital prints that they have put together. So I really enjoyed putting together my own kind of collection of <laughs> images. Um, and then also I was specifically looking for things, um, images of moths. And there's some really cool moth illustrations on there. Um, and I haven't been able to really find a collection of moths on Etsy um, that somebody else has put together. So I created my own <laughs> little collection and then cut, you know, printed them out and cut them out myself. And, um, and then I printed them in different sizes to kind of play around with what size I like best. But anyway, so that's what, that's what I have here. I also have some fussy cut mushrooms and then some washi stickers. Um, and then I also have my big box of flowers, um, this includes fussy cuts, uh, a few fussy cuts, and then die cuts um, from some kits that were gifted to me. Um, so yeah, I think I think a butterfly on this one would be cute. Um, and it doesn't necessarily have to coordinate with the colors around it because it's going to be hidden until you pull it out. So or until you know, whoever owns the journal <laughs> pulls it out. I don't know for sure yet if I'm going to be selling this journal. I never really intended to keep it myself. Um, so I don't know exactly yet 
what I will be doing with it yet, but um, the, the only problem is that I have some, oh, I also have little bugs, <laughs> which I haven't used yet, um, but I just thought they were cute, so I went ahead and printed them out. I do think I want something kind of small on here. I feel like that doesn't really stand out though. Maybe I do need something with, with a little bit more color. That could be cute. Maybe that with a label. I have a lot of labels <laughs> too, <laughs> lots of different ones. Kind of like that. Um, and then I feel like I need a third something. You know, something about that. The threes. I'm just going to go for it. I like that. Okay. So this is a washi sticker. I just, I get them from Amazon. Um, you can also get them, I'm sure, from AliExpress. Although I, I have not shopped with AliExpress myself. I know um, there's some controversies about shopping with them. But I'm pretty sure the stuff on Amazon comes from the same place, so. But I love these washi stickers because they're kind of, they end up kind of blending in better than other stickers because they're transparent. Okay, and then I'm going to ink these cutouts, mostly because I don't want the white edge of the paper showing. Ink also hides a multitude of um, cutting errors. <laughs> So like this label, I feel like I didn't cut very closely to the color. Um, it doesn't matter. Just ink it and you're good to go. I'm going to stick my hand in that if I don't close it. Okay. So I'm going to just use Tombow for this. You see part of my little collage is sticking up. Okay. So in one of my, um, I'm in a few different craft Facebook groups, um, specifically, or a couple that are geared more towards junk journaling, um, but I think they're really open for any kind of crafting, but a lot of the people in there do junk journaling, and one of the group, I can't remember which group it was now, but one of the groups I am in, I saw the other day, um, somebody was talking about different kinds of glue and how many different glues they own. <laughs> and um, they posted a picture of all the different glues that they have in their craft room. And um, somebody mentioned that they do not like the Tombow glues. And... Um, because it, the reason they gave was because they live in, I want to say it was Georgia or maybe it was Florida, somewhere where 
somewhere in the south here where um, there's a lot of humidity, high humidity. And she said that she's had lots of problems with Tombow glue coming off or, you know, um, <laughs> what is the word? Like not adhering anymore, you know, after time in the humidity. And I thought that was so interesting. I live in Alabama. Of course, I'm in northern Alabama, so it's a little bit different than like Georgia or Florida. Um, but I haven't experienced that yet, yet. So I'm curious if you, if you use Tombow glue and if you are in the south of the U.S. Um, and deal with humidity issues, then um, let me know what your thoughts are on that. Have you experienced that? I'm really curious. Um, now, I don't use Tombow for everything, but I do use it for a lot of things. Okay, so that's that one. See what the next one is in here so I can actually turn pages there's a postcard okay question is do we want to decorate the tag or do we want to decorate the pocket I think I want to decorate the tag okay so with this one, what do we want to do? Do we want some more butterflies? Do we want flowers or a mushroom? I kind of want a big something. This might be too big. Mm, it might work okay. Let's see what else we have in here. Brown one just kind of blends in. That's not big enough. Mm -hmm. That's not big enough either. That's the same one. Okay. Excuse me as I make a mess. But I gotta spread them out. I gotta see what I got, you know? I don't really have any big mushrooms, like fussy cut mushrooms in here. Although it's that one. That's not quite what I'm looking for. Um, hmm. I kind of like the red better. I think the brown blends in too much. I look cute with the blue. I, yeah, I like that. Okay, do we want anything else behind it though? Like maybe label? Do I have a large enough label for that? Sounds like it's very windy outside. if you can hear that but maybe oh you know what I also I also have tickets what color would go well here blue Smaller blue one. Mm. Pink. Nope. Mint green. That could work. Or do we want it like this? Sideways. I like that better. This color better though but it's bigger <sighs> complications um no I 
I think we're just going to go with this one. Stop dilly-dallying around, Leah. Okay. Again, Tombow glue. I've already um, pre-inked these, so I don't feel the need to do that again. Once I'm done with this journal, um, I've been working on it for <laughs> off and on for a while, um, but once I'm done, which I am almost done, um, I will be posting a flip through video so that you can kind of see, even, even if I don't end up like posting it for sale, I kind of feel weird posting it for sale because it's only like the second journal I've actually, will have actually completed. Oops, can glue everywhere. Um, so it's only the second journal that I've actually will have completed. Um, so I feel a little weird selling it or posting it for sale. Um, but if someone is interested in, in buying it after the flip through, then, you know, um, you can message me or email me or whatever and, um, let me know and I can always list it. My nails are not, not as thin as they were. I have those, um, I, I decided to try out those nail, like the gel nail stickers, which I'm really liking, but they make my nails thicker, so it's harder to get those sticker papers off. Sticker backs off, I should say. Okay. Let's see, now this one is... There we go. It was folding. Oh, it's wrinkled. Do we care? I don't know that we care, but I feel like I shouldn't put it down wrinkled. I may not, may not be able to control it. Yep, there's a couple wrinkles in there. That's okay. adds to the texture right <laughs> okay see how like it kind of just is transparent and uh, blends in really well I love I love the effect of those washi stickers it's oh it gives like the effect of the of like a decoupage kind of look but um, without as much work which is great in my book it's great anyway okay so there's that one I don't know how much time we have left, but we'll do at least one more. And then, you know, with these postcards, you can always ink around the edges too if you want to. Now they are a little bit shiny on the front, um, so the ink may not take as well as like with regular paper um, or matte paper, but you can always try it. Okay. See this one. What else? We, we've already got a butterfly on this side. Hmm. Do we want to do another mushroom? Possibly. Or do we want uh, another butterfly? Or do we, well, we've got already got a plant on the postcard here. So maybe, maybe we will do a mushroom. I like mushrooms. Maybe we'll just do that. There's a lot of color already happening over here in this pocket and with the postcard and then the green on this side. So maybe that's, maybe that's okay. Do more of a neutral. And there's a little green on here. I think, I think I'm going to go for it. Do I want to put a label down? I don't think I do. I'm just going to do it. Do the sticker and call it good. If we can get the sticker off the backing. 
I cannot tell you how many times I've watched videos where people are struggling with getting the backing off these stickers. Like it needs, it needs this type of plastic backing because the sticker itself is so delicate with the washi material. But for some reason they are like the hardest to get off. Let's see, try a different approach. There we go. Okay, we're doing that from now on. Just use my Cricut Pokey tool. <laughs> so there's a tip for you. If you're having trouble with your washi stickers, use a Pokey tool. Yeah, I actually really like that. Just like blends in. Okay, so this session is Leah is is all about Leah's addiction to washi stickers. Did not know that was going to be this the, the <laughs> session. Here we go. Stuck my fingernail on that. Okay. So this is a tag. We've already got a butterfly here. You can see that. We've already got quite a bit of color. Um, so maybe, well, we've already got a butterfly. I don't want to double up on the butterflies. I'm not, like, not that I have anything against butterflies. I just, you know, don't want to do too much of that. Oh, you know what? Let's maybe get flowers. That might be introducing too much color though. I don't feel like that goes with that theme. Or that style. Oh, I love, love the colors on this die cut. It's too big, but <laughs> I'm just like, I cannot wait to be able to use that one. You know how you just get excited about certain, um, certain supplies, using certain supplies. That's a pretty color and it kind of coordinates. I don't know. I feel like it needs something else. Oh, you know what we could do? I have some doily. Maybe just like... Mm. I don't know. I don't really like that. What do I do? What do I do? Um, I already got a ticket, I already got labels, I mean you can never have too many labels, but I want to do something like that. Okay, I kind of like that. I like the color of that one. It's kind of like a bluish, got a bluish green tint to it. Mm. 
maybe. Okay, it's a little quirky, but I like it. Um, okay, I'm gonna do some inking. And then this is probably, this'll be it um, for now. I'll probably go back and decorate the rest of the tags um, off camera. And then I may do another session, we'll see. Um, with the guest checks because I've been watching several videos trying to get ideas of how to use the guest checks how to decorate them I mean I think they're kind of cool just by themselves so that's one option um, especially since I've already um, coffee dyed them so they already kind of have more of a vintage look but we'll see I may, I may want to decorate at least a couple of them Actually, you know what? No, I think there's enough pattern going on. I was thinking about stamping some background stuff on it, but I think there's enough pattern going on there that we don't need that. It'll just make it more busy. Probably too busy. So I'm feeling crowded. So like I said, these images um, that I have from this in this box, um, and these mushrooms are included in that, um, I got from Biodiversity Heritage um, Library, and I will post the link in the description um, of the video here so that you can go check it out if you want to. Um, like I said, it can be a little overwhelming because there's just so much there, um, but it's also kind of exciting if you're... If you're a, a book nerd like I am, um, especially with old books, um, it's really a cool website. So, all right, so there's that. That's pretty simple, but I like how that turned out. And then there's room for writing on the back. Okay, so that is that. Um, so, like I said, we did that one. And then this one, which is the mushroom washi sticker. And then let's see if I can find another one. This one. Also with the washi sticker. Was that all? Oh, we did the one in the little bag. With the butterfly. And another washi sticker. So anyways, um, that is all for today. But like I said, I will, I may come back and do another video decorating some guest checks. Um, and then this journal is pretty much ready to go. Um, I'll finish decorating those other tags off camera. And then um, we'll probably come, I'll probably come back and do another video um, finishing up the cover. So Thank you for joining me today and um, if you like the video please you know hit that like button down below and um, if you want to see more of my content coming up um, please hit the subscribe button. Um, I love I love sharing these projects with you and um, hopefully you enjoy watching the videos as well. Um, yeah that's all for now. I'll talk to y'all on the next video. Bye!